Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Market Simulator 2022. Uh, last we left off, our economy finally kind of got stabilized. Um, the Buddhist monks are holding a revolution over the heads of the nation due to the total separation, but I think we're going to get it passed this time around. If not, then I'm going to cry. I cry every time. Uh, I remember one time I had, as America... I think it was like poor laws, one of the one of the laws you can pass at 80.5%. And it ticked like that five times. It was extremely frustrating. Oh yeah, we also won our war with Morocco over there. <clears throat> and now they're paying war reparations to us. That's why we're able to kind of flex our economy the way we are. I kind of want to cut down our bureaucracy right now, just so we can save a little more cash. But it's the petite bourgeoisie that are actually giving us more uh, bureaucracy. I'll I'll cut a little bit. I'll cut from. Oh well, I can't because we have a revolution going on. We can't downsize any nation that's going to secede. <clears throat> oh, we can't downsize at all. Okay, well, it'd be like that. We're expanding our munitions plants. Wait, why are we getting... Why are we getting so much money? Jeez. That's probably because goods are not as expensive for the military. <clears throat> it's kind of how supply and demand works. And yeah, we did have... Another revolution not too long ago. It's like they don't love their god emperor or something. How inconsiderate of the God Emperor. No. Definitely do not care about the Buddhist monks. They will have no place in our government. <clears throat> okay, awesome. Hey, we got a steam donkey. So we can basically do this to cut down on the amount of workers in, you know, said working area. It will use more trains and it will use more coal, but overall that'll be nice for economy that will have to produce more of it. And I don't think it produces more goods, it just cuts down on the amount of workers that have to be involved, which can save the businesses money. And it can free up our population for other things. We can go back to public trams, and I'm pretty sure our motor industries are going to need a bit of a, an increase here. Whoops, nope, didn't mean to do that. We'll get some areas that already have free peasants to work it. And that should hopefully meet our demands for engines. Or motors. Sure. We'll get the trade unions a little stronger. Anything to take power away from the shogunate. They'll have to deal with stronger factions. <clears throat> okay. Everything's going really well. Uh, we are hurting relations with other people, though. And, oh my gosh, we are about to be out of debt. Our interest and in loans, gone. Honestly, I think, what, two episodes ago? That did not seem to be the case. It seemed like we were going to die low-key, but uh, we're alive. Explosives are still expensive. I'm going to actually bump up the cargo port there. Sure, let's go for elastics. What does that give us again? It focuses more on... All close? Oh, it uses rubber, though. It's already using rubber. Fabric and silk. 
it cuts down, but it uses more rubber, essentially, that production method. Which is okay, that's okay. Clippers are expensive again. Something tells me we need more shipyards. Because we are not producing enough. It would actually appear that... <clears throat> not a whole lot of people are working in their shipyards. do reinforce wooden ships because it seems like we're not really producing a whole lot of anything really. We need more clippers. Oh my gosh, come on. Pass the total separation. Okay. I'm feeling a little spicy. We're probably going to go for Siam next. Why do people love me? Stop it. Stop loving me. I want to go to war with you. Well, we don't want to fight Italy. Okay, let's just... Let's just conquer more land. See what we can do. We're starting another war. They're fearful. Glad that they're fearful. I'm just gonna mobilize both generals for right now. See if we can make him even more fearful. That'll be that little chunk there. And we'll try to take as many tiny little islands as we can now that we're actually kind of chillaxing. Who is this? Somebody. I will uh, conquer you as well. <clears throat> is anyone else swaying in their direction? Whoever Bhutan is. Well, the target's fearful, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep adding more war goals and bumping up my infamy. It's just chill where we are right now. Because I know they like to just pull out like that. Buggers. We will make them pay. Well, no, I said I wasn't. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Me trying to add as many war goals as I possibly can. <clears throat> wow, minting's actually giving us a lot of money. And can I cut back on a consumption tax? I'll cut back on alcohol so people can just buy alcohol now. A lifelong human tradition of drinking. Okay. I want to boost the petite bourgeoisie. No, don't suppress. Stop. Bolster. Because I kind of like their policies. They want outlaw dissidents. They're very totalitarian. They want elected bureaucrats. They love proportional taxation. I love that. They want the monarchy. They want national supremacy. And they're they're okay with migration controls. Okay. <clears throat> we will beat back these. We'll grab these two chunks of island. Any more ironclads? Yes, yes. Oh, what the heck just happened here? Oh, do they go all the way to the Philippines here? Okay. Take care of it. Alright, awesome. Pretty easy, straightforward. I don't think anyone of super big import has joined any superpowers. Nope, just the usual. <clears throat> okay. 
Last little holdouts there, and then we're gonna naval invade. This little area here. Oh, there's several. <clears throat> 1 800 seamers. German market, the French market, and ironclads. Nobody can make them. Just be like that sometimes, I guess. One day they won't have to pay for our services too. Wow, our economy's doing a lot better. We're in the three point something digits. We're number six worldwide for GDP. I'm sure the leaders are well beyond us. Yeah, they got a GDP of like over half a billion. Oh my gosh, the Germans are, oh my gosh, the Germans are killing it. That's going to be quite the obstacle. I'm sure later I'll decide whether or not uh, I want certain objectives. Like, I need to conquer all major world powers, but for now, we're sticking with islands. What a defensive pact. Who's this? The Heavenly Kingdom. I have no idea who that is. Whoever just asked for that. <clears throat> Actually, if I pull back, does that increase our legitimacy? Yes, it does. Can't afford that, though. We have loans to pay off. How is our market doing? Coal is not doing too great. Mostly because someone's trading for it, aren't they? No. It's because we switched to those steam donkeys, I think. Other than that, everything else is doing relatively alright. Okay, it should just be this last step we'll down. And then we'll win this war. Wait, did we... Did we get our war goal here? I think we did, maybe? I'm not sure. Okay, we conquered our war goals. It would seem, however, that these... I don't know what the heck we got, honestly. What did we get? Honestly, not sure. Cargo ports. These railways need to be built. These ports need to be built. Uh, make sure those are constantly upgrading. We didn't get any new barracks. Our construction sectors are centralized. We just need to fix these farms here. Okay. I'll, I'll go through this real quick. I, uh, I noticed we got uh, a power plant as well, which is wild because we don't have that tech yet. But someone out here literally... Well, I mean, we, we are far behind. Someone beat us to it. And we just got more rubber. Where are those rubber plants? Level ones all around. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, it's the railway here. Is there anyone else that we can grab? How's our infamy? Wait, I eat. We can go. We can go more. Force obligations. Oh, uh, I'm good. I don't want to piss off Germany. Actually, that would not be a good idea. Dutch East Indies. I would love to get a chunk of the Dutch East Indies. Wait, is this... Can I declare war on the Dutch East Indies? It would seem that way. What... What do I want? 
from them. What province? Oil rigs are nice. I can't build them, though. Do they have, like, a massive amount of rubber? <clears throat> I would like all of the Dutch East Indies. They got some rubber plantations here. Hmm. I got some rubber plantations here. Uh, I'll go for this. I'll go for West Java. Let's, let's see what we can do with this. Face Italy. Ah, dang. That means Italy is probably going to hop in. That's really annoying. I don't want to fight Italy. I don't want to fight Great Britain. Italy, man. They are just all over it. Ah, they're throwing off my groove. It's really annoying. Glass is expensive? What? Why? We can cut back on services for now. That probably won't last long. Oh, wow. Really? People are getting high off their own supply over here. Are there any other areas that we can get a piece of? Not really. We don't have interest in a whole lot of areas. And our states are getting incorporated. It's a slow, slow grind. Mm, you have a truce of Spain. Wait, Philippines. You're independent? Oh. We might get the Philippines now. We're gonna have to be careful of who joins this war, though. Oh my gosh, I hate it when it does that. Okay, and I'm going to declare neutrality there. Let's just keep an eye on this. But if we can get the Philippines, life will be even better. We're slowly assembling all the islands that are clearly rightfully ours. We were here in the first place. Let's just conquer the rest of the Philippines. And that'll be awesome. Ah. Italy, don't. Just don't do this. They have zero professional battalions? Is that true? No, they can. They have 472 regular battalions. It would really piss me off if they did join. They're still fearful. Gosh, I, uh, France, why? What do they got on me? Conquer Madano. Conquer Japanese Luzon. Liberate Toba and liberate Ponte. Oh, because they promised it to the French. The French are mobilizing and they're already arriving. That's really annoying. Hmm. If I back down, yield your position in this diplomatic play, do they get these war goals? The primary war goal against us will be enforced. Yeah, the French are coming in mass. Hmm. What to do now that the French are involved? 
We will lose Madano. I'm kind of okay with this. I'm gonna hold at these positions here. We'll see what this gets us. If it gets bad, I'll, I'll pull out. But we're just gonna, we're gonna hunker down. Thankfully, there's no more freaking rebellions going on. Now we can actually get like a navy that can do stuff. We'll get like 20 at least. Let's get that as soon as possible, please. We'll see if we can invade the French homeland, actually. Because if we can get the, the French out of here, life will be a lot easier. Can we sway anyone to our side? No. Well, I'm glad they're feeling cocky. central planning more money for us and now that this is going on I'm going to start investing in the military uh, electric telegraph war exhaustion for casualties is kind of a must okay we seem to be holding our own ish yeah we seem to be holding our own and our defensive Thankfully. We have 105 defense. Impressive. Let's, uh... French are here. Let's raid these convoys. <clears throat> kind of cut down on those supplies if we can. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. We are definitely losing a lot of people, but we're holding. We're losing a lot more people than them. Luzon? Philippine Mandoa? Or Visayas? Oh, that's that lower half there. Uh, we will press that. Just leave it at that. We're going to hunker down here because that's probably the best we're going to be able to do against the French is just hold our position. And we certainly could use more troops. So right now we're at 50... Eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, a hundred. A huge increase in our military power. So we should go fifty for both generals. We're gonna have to promote you. Oh wait, sorry. Promote you, and we're gonna have to promote you. And we're going to bump our barracks all the way to the top. Recruit more troops. And if anything, I'll just raise taxes. Because we need to defend ourselves against this obvious uh, attack. This blatant attack on us. We're doing a good job holding them. The 
Frencher. Winning, however. Okay, they push us out of there. They're not advancing, though? Trade agreement from Russia. No thanks, Chief. I'd rather not. Can I get an alliance with you, though? What if I owed you an obligation now? Who would go for an alliance? Nobody. We're not big fans. Is this one. Gosh, we have massive casualties. I need better hospitals. And a lot more men. What? No, raid guns. Just the French here, the French and the Philippines there. Also losing that one. Still losing tons of people. They do outclass us in several areas. I mean, we'll make them hate us a little more, but that's fine. They pushed us. Well, we're kind of... We're doing okay against them, all things considered. Here I go saying all things considered again. <coughs> I mean, once the French troops kind of disappear, I'll just go and invade them one more time. Because they're kind of getting close to accepting this. I mean, it would be nice to peace out France. That would definitely be cool. Because they're losing some troops too. We're losing a lot more than them, of course. But hopefully we can beat up to the bottom. Okay. The French went home. So it's going to take their troops a little bit longer to actually get back up here whenever we start invading. So let's do it. Wait, what are we defending against? Where are you at? There's no fronts. I don't know why you're... Wait, no, there is a front. Where? Ecuador fronts. Oh, is this in... It is. Okay, it's in Africa. I'm okay with letting them take that. We'll just have our general standby for now. We'll wait for this invasion to happen, then we'll pounce on it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This freedom of consensus has sure taken a while. Can I get an invasion, please? What are we waiting on? You're waiting for him to travel to HQ. Uh, how long is that gonna take? Oh, he's mobilizing, okay. Nice. Are we going to be able to do this? No, we're not. How unfortunate. What are our naval bases at? Unfortunate. OK, 
Okay, the French just arrived in Africa. Ouch. Where did this painful amount of money come from? Alright, we'll do it again. Except down here. It's a dang shame the French decided to get involved. We might be able to just white piece this son of a gun. If we can get away with it. I don't want to back down and let him take anything, but I also don't want to... Like, lose my ability to possibly take this back. Oh, come on. Insufficient naval invasion support. I'm pretty sure that the navy has to be the same size as the, the military that it's transporting to be able to do anything about it. I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything. Oh yeah, we're... Oh, we can propose the peace deal. Do it. Do it. A. We actually came out on top for this one. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> that is crazy. Okay. Well, we got some more rubber. Some cotton. Lose the barracks. Got our ports here. Okay. Cool. That is lovely. We actually made it. Barely. We won against the French. That's a victory. We had to cut our war goal short, but it's a victory nonetheless. Okay. I'll, I'll just do this off camera real quick. Okay. Uh, I just added a few extra farms and stuff too, since we were able to discover them. Um, they're still on this revolution stuff for total separation. They seemed to chill out for a little bit there, and we ticked away at the uh, honorable restoration. It's probably going to be a hot minute before any of that happens. <clears throat> but yeah, we're able to support a decently equipped, relatively sizable military for this late day and age of 1922. The time has ticked away. We need African colonies, form two alliances, and maintain subjects. Hopefully total separation will happen this time. I'm really considering just pulling out of it. But it has had quite a lot of uh, stuff to back it. In terms of like actions and stuff. Hopefully they don't revolt. Yeah, they seem to be chilling. Okay. Ironclads. We still have a bit of a shortage on those. Same for small arms. Oh, wow. Look at this. We are perfectly down the middle in terms of taxes. No consumption taxes. And we're making a decent positive income with a relatively sizable military. Things are really looking up here for us. We're actually kind of taking off. Um, these open markets hopefully are going away soon. Ten more years. Open markets will go away, and then we'll fix that. And then we'll be able to get tariffs on our trade. And we'll be able to make some money. <sighs> yeah. It's just, just... This is kind of wasting our time. I'm going to pull it off from that. We're going to continue to see if we can get appointed bureaucrats here. Can we add the petite bourgeoisie? They will not be too happy about it. Hmm. We'll add the petite bourgeoisie. The industrialists can chill for now. We'll get rid of the shogunate. 
Yeah, we'll keep it how it is. <laughs> Peasants are so in Discord. Yeah, let's not give in to them. What else can we look for? Oh yeah, I was thinking about getting involved with Siam over here. We actually need to increase our, our ports, or our naval bases here, because it's getting kind of bad. I am almost convinced that the naval invasion support, that the navy has to be proportional to the army that it's transporting. It's just my thought. I know equipment shortages definitely won't help that, but I have a feeling from the times I've played that that is also the case. And it would be nice if more people would join the navy, because right now it doesn't seem like they are. Mm, there goes our money. We got monitors. We got this sea lane stuff. We'll hold on to it for now. Ironclads are so bad right now. Shipyards, please. Civilizing missions? Okay. I need more shipyards to produce more things. Please stop. No, we're getting 50. I don't know why. It seems that our ships dropped for some reason. We need more shipyards badly. We'll see where that takes us. Glass is expensive. French and the Germans, please. I want to preserve hereditary bureaucrats grows. We're getting closer and closer to the Nobayashi restoration. And we can survey a skyscraper site. Hmm. Sure, why not? Let's survey a site for a skyscraper. Ironclad. We are not building any ironclads? Like, at all? Steamships. We will be with this military shipbuilding. Okay, it costs more money, but I mean now we're actually needing the demand for that. Clippers are expensive now. <laughs> Did they just stop producing clippers altogether? We now have electricity. Okay, weird fluctuations here and there. Hmm. We'll see how this goes, I guess. Alright. Skyscraper survey's coming along. Oh, we also are not getting war operations from America anymore. Sadly. What a shame, what a shame. I want wage subsidies. 
Oof. I don't know if we can even afford that. We can barely afford this military. Great. Molasses flood. This is supposed to be in America. Yeah, let's... We can't afford to cut back on money right now. Wait, are we actually positive? Hey, we got some reserves in the bank, and it seems to be going up? Even though we're losing money? How? I... I'm not gonna question that. That's... I mean, whatever. <laughs> okay. He's shell-shocked. Oh, no. Taxation capacity is getting better. And I get some more, more declared interest. Nice. Africa's pretty much taken up. Um, I'd like to take an interest in this area. Because I kind of want... My boy here. You have a defensive pact with the Great Queen. Hmm. Siam has quite a few people. Overall, I have more troops than them, though. We'll, we'll keep the industrialists happy for now, mostly because they're the ones that we want to focus on the most in terms of our political brouhaha. We need more transportation. Is it because of motor industries that we're not getting enough? We are kind of low for engines. Well, we're going to keep upgrading, so we'll be alright. I can support even more declared interest. Invest in China. How's, how powerful are they? A lot of battalions. What about us? What's our... <laughs> Minimal. <laughs> okay, war exhaustion from casualties is less. Let's get in... No, not enlistment offices. Mobilization goods requirements. That sounds awesome. We'll get repeaters next. We'll slowly start investing into our military. I wish our legitimacy could get better. Oh, I see. We'll just... We'll bump them out so we can keep some legitimacy going. I could hopefully... No, let's not do that because uh, nobody would support our reforms now. Okay. Okay, that was super easy. We got appointed bureaucrats. Now we get even more taxes, as you can see. Uh, they get more political strength, but it's okay. Okay, things are getting a little better. Interventionalism would be a nice thing to have. The peasants and the shogunate are against that, but I could really care less, honestly. Things are getting better. Things are getting a lot better. Oh, you're probably... You need to upgrade, don't you? Hello? The heck? Well, you need to get at least 50 with any, so... You can do that. What does shell shock do to him? What, what sort of negative trait? His health and popularity go down. Let's... We'll hold on to you. For now. Our government is getting better. I would like to get the petite bourgeoisie in. Can I throw the intelligentsia out? Will they go for interventionalism? 
Or is it these guys who are for interventionalism? It's these guys. Okay. We'll bring the petite bourgeoisie in. We'll make them part of the government. And that'll lower our legitimacy, but hopefully we can foster them and grow them. Because these are going to have the laws that I kind of want to pass. But, yeah. I think this will be a good stopping point. Things are looking very good for us. Our taxation is getting better. Um, we're actually able to size a decent military. And, um, I mean, it's things are looking up here in Duloc. Especially with this honorable restoration well on its way. So, uh, hopefully we can start taking some more lands. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, everybody.